The MLT program at Erie Community College is very demanding. Uh, the science level is very high. The students that are in the MLT program uh, begin with their basic biologies, chemistries, maths, and advance through those. Um, in their first semester, they should be at the upper level in all those areas. We train them to be a generalist in the field, so they would take courses not just in clinical chemistry, the area I teach, but also hematology and microbiology and immunohematology. And in each of those, they have lectures and they have labs. And in the lecture, we would present the theory involved in the field, and in the lab, they put that into practice. The students working in the small laboratory setting really learn well the particular techniques. They can ask a lot of questions. We are always there to guide them. Each of the faculty in the medical lab technology department has extensive experience in the field that they teach. I can prepare all my blood bank labs like we are in a hospital. And that's what our chemistry teacher does. That's what our hematology instructor does. That's what our microbiology. Our microbiology professor worked in a hospital as a microbiologist, has her master's in microbiology. Everyone has their specialty, and it's nice that the students have reference then and experiences in those specific areas versus someone who's worked in all the areas but not in depth. Okay, this is a neutrophil. In order to reinforce the on-campus learning activities, the students go to uh, the VA hospital and Buffalo General Hospital in the uh, hematology, coagulation, clinical chemistry department. And the students go in there to actually work on patient specimens and also to observe certain procedures which we are not able to set up and duplicate on campus. There will be numbers that indicate the volume that's being pipetted once the student graduates from the medical lab curriculum, they would take an examination to become licensed and would then be able to be hired to work in a clinical laboratory. There is a lot of diversity as to what the graduate can do once they've received the degree. Not only to work in a hospital laboratory, but also a physician's office laboratory to work in an industrial laboratory. A basic science, hands-on, laboratory-oriented degree can take you into research. It can take you into any of the medical profession degrees. Um, students can go into education. Um, they can go into vet veterinary tech. They can go in, into environmental testing. Um, there's just many areas that students need to think about outside just a clinical hospital setting. The neutrophil has fine specific granules whose overall net effect is pink. Our graduates leave the program with a certain level of self-esteem that they didn't have prior to coming into the program, a feeling of accomplishment, and know that they can take on the next step.